Hopefully you can hear me. Um, hopefully you can hear me and you can see me because I don't know, Facebook has been, between Facebook and Zoom, they keep cutting off in about 30 seconds. So I've been working on the blocks thinking that I'm live and I haven't been. I really hope we're good. We're going to try it again. Unfortunately, the first block and everything that I showed you, we'll have to talk it over because I don't think anybody saw it. Okay, we're going to go quick, quick then because I'm running out of time. This is our next bag class Thursday, next week, Thursday. Three Thursdays in a row. Um, not in a row, but there's one of them missing, but it's a three-day class. Check it out. The pockets are functional with the zippers. It's got more pockets and zippers inside. And this is not a, um, a hard or uh, bag to do. So this a beginner could do this bag. Look at it. Look at how pretty. All right, sorry, I gotta put this on so I don't get interrupted. So you have to sign up for this class in advance and check out the, one of the new Kimberbell events that is, I think the 17th, it's either a half day or a full day. Um, it's called Summer Nights. So this is the first project, which is a really cute mug rug. And there's a tote bag. And this one's already on the website for you to sign up. Then we have the next Kimberbell fill in the blank. Look at the little man bag. Isn't it cute? We've got leather on the mustache, leather in the handle, leather on the bottom, and it zips up and it's got a lining these are already on the website and i'm working on the kits they will go out early next week then the third monday unless i have a conflict which i think i might i can't remember as far as the next camberbell event um i usually do a video for putting the new blank together but i did post a video from camberbell that goes through it pretty quickly what else oh It is quilters track time. Look at this. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is going to be a sun. And I'm going to have um, pre-printed freezer paper foundation pieces in the kit pages so that you can actually do um, paper pieces. It's not that hard. It's just three colors. That's it. Unless I change my mind and decide that I don't like it once I'm done with the block. But here we go. For those of you who didn't get this sneak peek. This is two pieces of pre-cut, pre-fused um, artisan sandscape fabric, which is going to be the earth on this really fun kind of starry background fabric. Then we've got the shuttle. I like it took me forever to figure out what I was going to do this time. And we've got my astronaut. This is pre-cut, pre-fused, um, pre-cut heat transfer vinyl that I do cut for you. And all you have to do is iron it onto the black pre-cut, pre-fused fabric that I put in there. And that's what's going to give you this great detail. I'm hoping to have this done this week. My buttons are getting delivered today for it. So... Cross your fingers. It's gonna come out good. All right, let's get back to this. Sorry for the glitches on Zoom and Facebook. Here is our first block. And unfortunately, because I thought it was recording, I've gone ahead, so you might have missed it. We did um, flying geese here and here. 
and all we have to do is put it together. It was the last piece that we sewed and I'm gonna iron it up and then I'm gonna cut the bulk off. Sorry about that. But the only good thing I can tell you is this is not the first nor the last time we're gonna do flying geese, traditional flying geese, and it's really easy. You don't need a um, bunch of rulers or templates to do a flying geese. They really are simple. There you go. Now I'm gonna take the scissor and cut the excess off. I hate all of the changes that they're doing with Zoom and stuff because it's making it a lot more difficult to get these videos going. Now, I'm gonna sew these together first, put these on, and then these two will be the last. When you're sewing the flying geese or anything with a point, I tend to make sure I can see the flying geese on top because this intersection, which is hard to see in this lighting, but the intersection where we sewed the two corners on, in order to make sure you don't cut off your point, you don't want to sew on this side of the flying geese. You want to make sure you're just on this side of that intersection. So I make sure, and it's hard to see if you're not keeping the flying geese on top. No, that's not all I did. Ah, good, good, good. I'm gonna sew the other one on. And again, keep making sure that it's on top so I can see where I'm sewing so you don't cut off your points. There's nothing worse than cutting off points in a quilt and trying to rip everything out and do it again. It's annoying. It's a lesson that once you learn how to do it, the technique, which is very simple, you'll never forget it. All my nails are breaking this last week. There you go. Now I'm going to iron it out. And I'm ironing it towards the center square. Why? Just to cut down on some of the bulk. Okay, it's the path of least resistance. If I iron out towards these prairie points, it'll become even more bulky. By ironing towards the center, there's no bulk. Okay. Now we're going to put these flying geese on. We're going to do it exactly the same way. Keeping the flying geese on top so I can see where I'm sewing to make sure I don't cut off my points. And when I get to the seam, I lift my foot up just to make sure that my Seam is going to lay nice and flat. It's good. Do one more on this side. Same thing. At my seam, lift my foot up so my seam will stay flat. Good, now I'm going to iron them out.
Definitely want to use best press. Make sure everything's nice and clean and it's not going to start stretching and twisting. There we go. Now all we have to do is sew on the top and the bottom, and this block is done. So what are you guys working on? Anything fun? I got so much that I'm working on in here. It's ridiculous. There's just too much. Now I'm just going to iron this block and this one is done. I had a really, really good class this weekend. For the Kimberbell. So, with you know me, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Not to say not every class isn't fun, but once in a while you get a good group together that just makes it all the better. You had a good class. There you go. All I'm going to do is trim it up, square it up, and it'll be ready to go. Next week, I believe we are going to put the third row together. Have that ready to to so the to our um add it to our quilt. They're going faster, I think. Okay, that's ready for number thirty. This is number block thirty. All I did was sew our little four patch together, which and put the two sides on. Um, four patches is really really simple. We've already done it multiple times. Now what I'm going to do is sew these two here and then the, the two sides. This is kind of like almost on the idea of a log cabin. Not exactly, but close. Anybody on with me today? Or am I by myself again? I'm going to sew the other side on. I had issues with Zoom again this weekend, too. I just wish they would stop playing with it. It makes it much harder on us trying to make sure we get the videos up. There we go. Now we're just going to put the two sides on and the top and the bottom. Now 
How is everybody today? The other side. And I got an iron it, and we just have two more pieces. This block is done. If you guys want to see something else, you want to be taught something else as a class or a design or technique that you would like to learn, let me know. I can't guarantee that I will be able to do every class, but I will try. All right. Got one more to do. Now we're just gonna put our top and bottom on and our block is done. Yeah. There is block thirty. So that is the end of our third row on making make the cut. And next week we'll put the third row, attach it to our existing two rows, and we're off to the races. As always, if you have any questions or comments or issues, just leave me a message. You know where to reach me at the shop. And that's where I usually am. So I will talk to you later. I'm gonna get ready for the rest of the day and I hope you have a great day. Bye.